Welcome to the LDM Show. I'm Charles Aloma. And I'm Conrad Delgado. And it's another week of win. Uh, I should be the weatherman one oh, day. You should. Yeah, because I'm going gonna, gonna to be like this. Uh, we're in the weather here, and it's October, so it should be windy and cold. Back to you, Bob. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Bob, I think they need you down in Florida right, right. now because it's yeah. a, a whole studio uh, storm is a brewing. Yeah, our um, prayers and uh, hopes go out to everyone that's down that there. in that left. The ones that stood and want to try to fight the weather, you need to go somewhere with yourself. Because that's, that's as American as American gets. Yo, that that's kind of that, matter of fact. The radio station had that one person stood. Guess what? Because of the dogs. Oh, man. Man's best friend's going to get you killed out there. He stood because the dogs didn't want to. Oh. So he didn't pick up the dogs and take them with us? He couldn't go, go oh. nowhere. Oh, man. He couldn't go nowhere with the see? dogs and stuff. He, he, he wanted to go back over because the dogs was in the house. And Listen, some of the animals are very smart. And you go to the house, the dog probably was not even there. He probably was smart enough to leave. leave. <laughs> Or went to the higher, uh, uh, higher High grounds. grounds, you know, because animals are oh, smart. Yeah, animals you know what I'm saying? Like, I know all the birds already left. For sure. If I see saw seeing birds flying away, something is wrong. Mm -hmm. They're not circling. They're not doing, they flying out, they <laughs> out. Pigeons talking about, we leaving. <laughs> we, we you see them, a couple of them with their suitcase and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know there's something wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so even like rats, like when rats start running, oh. a whole bunch of them, you're like, mm -hmm. But who the heck is chasing them? Don't worry about who chasing them. Just get out. Get okay. out. Just get out. This ain't Twister. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you ain't in no blockbuster movie. No, but speaking of Twister, there, uh, the news has some cameras showing the, the, the weather. And you see the camera going, oh, oh. why you don't make anything like those cameras? Because those cameras don't break. Oh, yeah. You had it in the storm and the camera's bending and everything. You can see it waving and the, the, the rain hitting the glass and everything. But... The camera never went down. What's this camera made of? <laughs> and then some, you know, of course, the storm chasers. We had a perfect, uh, 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 what's they call it, uh, spindle or something like this. Oh, oh. And they were showing one just developing. It, but they didn't touch ground, but it developed. And then the wind kicked. And then as he was filming, a big teddy bear said, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> from a store. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, you're crazy. You know, but... There are people, uh, like I was telling you before, yeah. the, gov the, the mayor of um, uh, Florida said, if you guys have not left, you're going to die. And if you stay there, do not uh, call for help because we have other people that we need to help mm -hmm. first. So that means that anyone that got stuck there, you're the last that they're going to go get. Oof. Was she right for saying it or was she wrong? I say she was right. Yeah, I agree. On, I agree she, with you on sometimes that. you got to yeah. pull that that yeah. that band aid. Sometimes you got to be serious about things. You know, yeah, that that's like you know somebody saying, "Oh, they shooting over there. Don't go there." And then you go and get shot. <laughs> I told you, don't go there. Yeah. They told everybody to leave. They had to even knock on doors. Now, the only ones I can say that might not want to leave are the old people. That's their house. Yeah. They were born there. They were raised there. They might not be so quick to want to leave everything. Mm -hmm. You know. But that is a material thing. You can always rebuild. Yeah. You know? But with that said, being rebuilt, I got a question for everyone that's watching. Have you heard any other country send us money yet or send us hopes? No. Nope. I wonder. So the United States, the, the, the mafia. The I'm mafia. sorry. I'm sorry. I said it wrong. The, the government. government. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't hear me, I'll say it again. No one has came to our rescue. No country, no other people. So we need to stop going to other people's rescue. Take care of your home first. They taking care of theirs first before they take care of us. Learn from them because this is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, you know, besides Red Cross, but Red Cross is all over the place. Worldwide. Yeah. So, like but a lot of houses Ooh, damaged, man. trees down. Um, what, it's going to take maybe months or so mm. for them to get everything back. But not only that, to take the memories off, it's going to be forever. Oh, yeah. It's going to be forever. Because there's going to be somebody that didn't rebuild, and mm -hmm. you're going to be like, yeah, remember that store, that store was there? Yeah, it got yeah. blown away in, oh, in yeah. 2024. 
it's going to be, you know, it's going to be one of those type of stories. Um, you know, I have family over there too. And I was like nervous. I'm like, go get out. You know, yeah. I don't care. My sister was there. I was like, no, you best to get out. Yep. I don't Not care who it. who sells you no. Ain't no man worth it. There's no you know no dogs Property. worth it. At the end of the day, you could always rebuild, like you said, rebuild. Yep. The only thing you can't take back is your life. Listen, no, not even a mate. Mm -mm. Go man or woman. Nah, we should stay. You know what? I can I can rebuild you too. <laughs> oh. oh, with technology moving so fast, I, you I'm, might be able to now. Especially if I'm yeah. young. If I'm young and I just started with someone and they don't want to leave. All right, see ya. <laughs> see ya. If, yeah, listen, we make a pact. Nothing happens to you and not come back. We good. We good. You know, we can, we can continue. She's probably blown away after right? that. Right? If you got blown away, <laughs> swept by the water and probably stuff. Got took by the storm. You know, you, you your, the, your friend has been looking good lately. <laughs> <laughs> all jokes, people. Don't, don't, don't get all upset. We're just joking about it to, to show how ridiculous it is for you to sacrifice your life for material things. Mm -hmm. You're going to rebuild. Um, you know, the city pop, I'm not going to say they're going to help you because the mafia don't really help too many, you know, if you're not in the country. Just say you're out of the country. Maybe they help you, yeah. you know. But uh, they, they will do their best. And if you have insurance, that's why it's for. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I don't know what the Florida insurance, you know, is capable, you know, yeah. if, it's, if it's a full house or, you know, or they do like insurance. Well, it was 90% your, your fault. You know, you shouldn't build your house where there was That's always a, a tornado yeah. or something. You know, they always look for excuses yeah. not to give you your whole money. Um, the flood insurance, I don't know what is the, you know, the cap the, of it. Yeah. But it's enough for you to either buy a new house or start. I don't know. Yeah. It's a material. Um, but you can never get away a new life and yeah. stuff like that. So, you know, I lost many pictures, many trophies through a uh, flood that I had in my own house in the basement. Yeah. You know, I lost everything. But it's only a material. Yeah material so, things i don't know but for everyone that's going through problems puerto rico has had a storm about four or five years ago and there's still people being things being built yeah took almost two years for um some people to get lights they had you know they had had yeah. a big extension cord all the way down to the vecinos house to the yeah. neighbor's house to you know just power, to get power to watch the ldm station my sister was one of them mm -hmm. who her house was broken down and she was fighting for a whole year for her insurance money in Puerto Rico. So there are people that are still going through it. Mm -hmm. But like my sister said, I keep fighting, but as long as I still have my life yeah. to fight for it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have no life and then you fighting for what? Nothing. Yeah. You know, what are you going to do to go to heaven? Listen, Jesus, I got my money. I'm just waiting for the insurance. To, no, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bring me back. I'm, they bring me back and I'll get you the insurance money. I, I'll hit you up something, you know? <laughs> yeah, and then on top of that, you don't want that on your conscience either. No, no. So get going. I know pets are like family, but I said this key word, like. You know what I'm saying? I, I know a lot of um, animal lovers. Oh, but they my family. That's my kid. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not a big animal lover, so I can't see myself saying that's my. Come to daddy. No, no, I can't. Mm, no, no. I can't even date a girl that says daddy's home. No, mm, no. Mm, we ain't doing that. <laughs> we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Charles or the owner. That's Charles how you're going to call me. <laughs> not the dad. Not, no, no. We're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Our, but Our kids' anniversary is the day right. you got Yeah, you'd be like, Are you coming to my kids' anniversary? Well, I never thought you were pregnant. Yeah, I just got a double mint. You know, like, you know, no. Are oh, you talking about your dog? No. You're not going to get a birthday, ca a yeah, birthday you're, cake? You're, you're bringing dog? a birthday cake and you got to bring birthday presents to an animal? I don't know if I can do all that. But to each their own. I'm not saying I'm not a dog lover because I love dogs. I had a dog, you know, a trained dog and everything. Uh, but, you know, their lifespan is not forever. Mm -hmm. But you treat them like a family, but y'all a little, little, little overboard. The little strollers <laughs> where, and all these other Where they got pet insurance, but they don't have uh, their kids. Their, their life insurance. insurance. They, they don't have insurance. insurance for their kids and stuff, but they got pet insurance, you know. Oh, I'm going on vacation. Uh, with my hubby, I'll just take my dog to a, a dog hotel. What about <laughs> what about your kids? I don't know. I don't even know where to leave them <laughs> at. You know, I was trying to find a babysitter, but you know, I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you treat them better than you treat your own kids sometimes. Oh, but uh, you know, dog best friends, cats. You know, cats are only lovable when they want to. You know, well, that's a female pet, so 
female you know, pet. Oh. Scratch you. But no, <laughs> they scratch you. They scratch you. Up. Scratch you all up. You know, I can imagine somebody running. I got to go get my goldfish in the middle of the storm. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. In the middle of the storm. Y'all pet lovers are too much. So uh, your life is. Now, I can see myself saying, yeah, I'm going to go get my pet. But as soon as that one tree falls or fly by me, it's flight. Oh, man. it's flight. It's flight time. <laughs> this I, man I, said he's going to leave Lassie at the well. <laughs> listen, Lassie know how to come to me. <laughs> Lassie know how to come to me. You, you're going to be going to, Lassie, what's the problem? <laughs> I, I, I guess you never cried an Iron Legend where you had to put the dog down. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that. I happened. was just upset because now who he going to talk to? That's Will Smith. That's all Will Smith had. I was like, you better and, put him as a mannequin. Then, and then what happened? A female comes in his life and then he dies? Yeah. Right. <laughs> With another man's kid. With another dad's oh, kid, you never man. know what happens. That was a, that, I think that was a bigger lesson than. <laughs> yeah, now I'm not saying pets. Pets are great; they're good for uh, making your life last a little bit longer. Mm. But I'm just saying, some of these people are taking it over, oh, like bringing them inside <laughs> stores, bringing them in restaurants. I don't want to see a dog in. Re I don't, especially not a. a, I, I, a could, I could agree with you on that. A hairy yeah, dog, you, like you a yeah. sheep, a, a, a chow chow that that their hair be flying all oh, over the place. Yeah. You know, no, I can understand. I, I like no. I'm not. I, I'm worrying about the the chef's hair in my food. Now I got to worry about dog's hair in my food. <laughs> you know, no. There's places that you're not supposed to bring them. And if you do, make it for that type of restaurant, dog restaurant, dog owners. That way, everybody knows that you know. Like yeah. if going to a bar when they used to be smoking allowed, mm. it, it took one person that don't smoke. We need to ban smoking in bars. Don't go. <laughs> That's all you have to do. I don't smoke and I don't drink. And I have made mad money hustling in, in pool in the bars. Oh. But I knew that I was coming out smelling like cigarettes yeah. and stuff. But I'm not going to tell a guy, don't smoke, don't, don't smoke, drink. Yeah. It's a bar. Mm -hmm. you know, go to, going, going to a breast bar, I don't want to see the, the T word, but going to a breast bar and they smacking it all over your face <laughs> and you getting mad. What you, what, what you expect is going to happen. Yeah. You know, I, I guess you're not a fan of those places that have like those cat bars <laughs> where, you just, where you go to a... A bar that has like nothing but cats. <laughs> Listen, the only type of cat I want to see that's a bar like that, and I don't even spend money on that is strip joints. You know what I mean? I'm not going to those things. Charlie gonna throw the dollar bills in there. I, I don't even throw a dollar. I throw a quarter and ask for my change. <laughs> if it's a dollar bill, it comes with the thing, and I'm wheeling the dollar bill back. <laughs> You're too slow. You should have grabbed it. You almost had it this time. <laughs> it this time. <laughs> No, but it sounds like them insurance companies <laughs> right there. <laughs> what, what, what you do on the side? Charlie? I know, right? What hey, I, I gotta learn. I learned from the best. I oh, learned from the best. That's why you were hustling in the pool. That's hall. why I was hustling <laughs> in the pool hall. Get them drunk and then win. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, but there's places you go to that you can't complain because oh, yeah. that's what it's there for. So people, when they were complaining about secondhand smoke, and don't go to the bar. Yeah. And then now what they got? The 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 vapes, the, the vapes in the bars. Don't vape in the bar. <laughs> so now you're still getting smoke. Mm -hmm. you're, you're getting all that vape and things in your, your your mouth and your tongue and all this, and and you're still there. As long so, as it smells like pineapple, that's all they care that's about. All, that's, all, <laughs> that's that's is that orange? No, that that got to be banned from here. <laughs> you got to have the pineapple. The pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, again, our prayers to the people yeah. of Florida, and hopefully they get their insurance and everything mm -hmm. quickly. Um, bring it back up, and if the mafia really wants to help, help your your, your city folks first. Mm -hmm. um, Take care of your people first. Yeah, you know. With that said, too, in New York, three more people has uh, quit the um, the mayor's issues. So that's you know, I, ten of them, I think. Another mafia problem. Yeah, yeah this that's some big thing. But they finally said it has something to do with him. In the um, Brooklyn Borough, when uh, he was a Brooklyn Borough president, he was taking uh, money from out of the country people for his oh. campaign and also making straw companies, which straw companies mean if you give me 2000 I will have to match that 2000 uh. right? So these companies were shell companies, mm. and the shell companies were from out of country. Uh. So when he becomes mayor, mayor. he has to do favors. Uh. So this is where one of the, the issues are coming from. There's more coming out, more developing. Scratch my um, back, I scratch yours. So everybody's doing, doing what people in Florida should have done, jump ship yeah. and go to another uh, town. So a lot of people are doing that with the mayor. They're quitting um, before they get 
indicted. Yeah, rap. Yep. But if you quit before the indictment, that just means you might be a witness. Mm -hmm. So, and then also on top of that, it's just making the mayor look even worse. Worse. Right? Yeah. You, you said nobody, it. nobody wants to stand behind somebody like that. Mm, I, I or it's either know. that or they just don't want to be caught. They're, they don't want to be caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Mm, true, true. But uh, we're going to take a, a small break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to hit the movies. We're going to hit like the spooky type Ooh, movies and stuff like that. Because this is Spooky Tober. Yeah, Spooktober. Yeah, so we'll be right back. All right. Well, welcome back. The Spooktober. Uh, Spooktober time. Ooh. You know, last week we were talking about uh, serial killers and urban legends yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, I was reading a little more about urban legends, and I forgot about uh, the ones that when people were making out in the park, there was a guy tapping on the top uh, of the, the car, car and wind up killing people. There are so many urban legends. If you read urban legends, uh, folk tales mm -hmm. online, it was kind of spooky. Some of yeah. the smoke, the ones under the bed, uh, the dog you know. licking the hand. Yeah. In reality, it was a serial It was killer. serial killer. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of, uh, you know, chupacabra uh, and all that stuff. So, um, and also, um, the crying, um, lady and the hitchhikers, the hitchhikers. So there's so many of them that you want to, but, I was looking at them and I'm like, why is these sounding like movies? Some of them did play, took little parts of it and mm -hmm. put it in movies, like The Hitchhiker. Have you ever watched that one? Hitchhiker? No, I never. That one was a, it was a hitchhiker, hitchhiking. Yeah. But he was killing people. Ooh. So beware of hitchhikers. Mm -hmm. What about uh, Joyride? You ever seen that one? Nah, I have not. Joyride is a good movie. I don't know, if, uh, Will, you seen that one? Joyride? Oh my God. The first one to me was real good. I think they got like four parts, three to four parts. The first one, uh, the second one was in the hotel where he was going, that like he got stuck in a hotel and stuff like that. The second part, I think it was. Yeah. Ooh. Two of them were like, you know, the low budget type of things. Mm. But um, I, let me double check, but I think they have four. But I know, number one, they were just chilling. Yeah. But they did something to a tow truck driver. I think they almost hit him or something like that. I, I don't remember the whole story. But that tow truck driver went chasing. Yeah, yeah. How many are there? Uh, Will was checking real quick. But that tow truck driver was chasing them through a whole line of highway. But during that course, he was killing people. Left you know, right. leaving them there, trying to kill them. And every time, one time they went to try to get help from somebody, he killed them. Three. Oh, I'm sorry. There was three parts. You know? Oh, okay. So there's two. That's not just a name, I guess, but not related. Oh, okay. But Joyride, if you have not seen that one, that one. Oh, Paul Walker. Paul yeah. Paul Walker's in the first one. Oh, wow. He, he, that one was a good movie because they went through hell through that whole line of highway mm. trying to get away from this one and you know they always say never say oh finally we got away because oh, it never, yeah, happens. never happens in the movie it does he's like i think he probably left we good to go right yeah i think so <laughs> you hit him in the back and the lights turn on it is yeah. crazy the killing he does and the best part of the movie to me they didn't really show the murderer they just showed his hands driving the truck and, you know, his boots and his leg. They really didn't show. They kept their suspense on that. So that was a good one. Um, and that came from the hitchhiker, um, the urban, uh, legend. urban legend. So that's why I was like, oh, okay. Charles over here connected. Yeah. The and then the joy ride, um, part of the joy ride was, you know, the flashing of the light. Lights. When the urban legend, you flash the light on the car and the car Saturday. went to kill you. Yeah. So um, these are... Uh, kind of spooky stuff but i put Ooh. those things together and i'm like oh so now i got joyride on uh uh freebie waiting for me Ooh. i got it on my my uh playlist check <laughs> now. yeah check it out it, it is good it's a good movie um if you have not seen it check it out um joyride very good uh but let's let's hit into 
some of the movies that you have seen uh, during the course of the years first, before we even say which one was best. All right. So for me, I always was scared of Chucky. Chucky. I, I, think I thought it was more funny than scary. I think it's because, like, as a little kid, you just because you have such a big imagination, you think the the toy is gonna actually come out and start killing you. True, true, true. And I think that's what it was. The now, wild imagination. Yeah, the imagination, and like as I got older, I thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, then, it did turn to start being more yeah, funny. More of a comedy. Yeah, because yeah, the Brian first one was kind of yeah. more horror. Uh, I think a lot of people like. Uh, my age was more scared of Chucky when it came out because the the toy my buddy was out. Oh, that so is... people were like, "Whoa!" Is... I, there were some people that probably threw their my buddy out. No, oh, no, you ain't keeping that doll in here. And my buddy was a, a big action figure, you know. My buddy and me would like to climb up the tree, you know. So when that was out, and then they had the, my sister, you oh. know. So Chucky ruined it for a lot of yeah. people. Those dolls were creepy as hell too. Yeah. No, I think the creepiest dolls are the uh, the how they call those uh, hard shell dolls. Um, the Porsche. The porcelain the dolls. Porcelain I dolls. think those are scary. The porcelain dolls. I think those are little. You see, you go to a house and you see them. You be like, Nah, nah. nah. We be getting out. We get out. Especially they had a movie with the porcelain yeah. dolls. Uh, when it got alive and started, mm-hmm. you know, moving around. So, no, no, I don't like those 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 dolls. And the old and then always an old person has it. Mm. Mm, no, no, no. You live alone. Why you live alone? Because you killed them? Are they in the basement <laughs> right now? Basement. Like, you know, <laughs> is there spirits inside these boats? The <laughs> no. But, yeah, Chucky, oh, okay, I'll give it to you. I, I can see the creepiness yeah. of it, you know, as a doll and, you know. You want to play? No, no, I don't want to play. No, okay. But I, I liked the part because in the beginning of Chucky, they didn't show Chucky killing. No. They just seen a little feet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. It, so it was creepier, but then when they went to comedy. When it became, I think it was Bride of Chucky's when they were leaning, they started like leaning more into the comedy. And then right. Son of Chucky, it was just all comedy. Oh, yeah. And then Red Man was in that movie. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then they bring Chucky the series. It's Chucky, yeah. So, or he's like, Tiff, I don't want to grow uh-huh. up anymore. <laughs> like being a human being sucks. So, <laughs> And he's like, what? We did all this to this? The, the series was funny because they had that brute, that big uh, uh, Chucky. He was uh, mad built. Oh, they had all different uh, personality Chuckies and stuff. So They tried to bring it back with, I think the movie was Annabelle with the AI doll and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it's one of those things, just give it up. Yeah. You know? But because, Chucky would always be a good name. Yeah. But then it was re- weird because like at a certain point, it was slasher movies. Like, you know, Jason, right, Michael right, right. Myers. And then out of nowhere, it just became like, I think, early 2010s with uh, paranormal activity. It started leaning more into the supernatural. Natural, yeah. Uh, I think that's where, well, Supernatural's pretty much always been there because they had the Exorcist, the yeah. Omen. Um, uh, was that Red the Rum? Ring, Red the Rum? Ring. Shiny. The, the Shining. Shiny. Yeah, the Shining. Um, so there always been type of supernatural stuff. But to me, slasher movies always takes it, especially towards October. Mm, yeah. They always would take it. With Halloween, would hands down, would be the number one movie for October. Yeah. You know? Um, well, not number three. Mm, with the mask. Okay. You know, oh, no. Two more days for Halloween. <laughs> ha- oh, that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, that uh, one where the that, kids would put on the with mask. The mask and yeah. Put on that, the that was the, uh, the 3D three yeah. D. Um, Halloween part three and they had it in three D. And everybody was wondering why what what was this? It was <laughs> it would had nothing to do with Michael Myers. It was just it was just a uh, uh, like someone that was possessing killing kids. people with a mask. And it, then it, the kids would be like having seizures and stuff. Yeah, like it was stupid. But Halloween itself, the whole storyline of what drove him to stay alive was his family. Yep. Killing all his family. Yeah, That's all he cared for. Um you know, and uh, what's her name? Ray, Ray, or, um, Jamie Lee. Jamie Lee Curtis. Curtis, yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis. Heck of a job. Oh yeah. Heck of a job since the first one all the way to the next. She did a great job. Great acting um, on there. Uh, the, uh, were you a fan of uh, the Friday the Thirteenth movies or no? Actually, I was a fan of the one and two. The three D one. Which back in the days everything wanted to be three Ds. Oh, yeah, so they made part three as, as a three D. It was pretty good, but part one and part two, hand down, was the it's best. The best one. Um, especially, you know, you find out it was a mother oh, and yeah. 
it was and all then, these killings. And then the ending of the first one where you see Jason just pop out of the water. Oh yeah, Whatever. so you you Ooh, knew that was gonna good. be that was part gonna be two. part two, um, which it was good because the whole thing of it came out in a perfect time where in the summer everybody was going camping. Yeah. Back in those days, people went camping in the schools. Yeah. So it was scary. You, you send now. your kids to summer camp. Yeah. And then the, the counselors are over here having you know. PG-13 movies. No, it, it was scary, though, if you send your kid to a camping trip. And uh, um, the, the what was it, Salt Lake or whatever? The, the, uh, the Crystal Lake. Crystal camp, Lake. Camp there was Crystal actually Lake. a Crystal Lake camp okay. there that they said they, they had to close down for a little bit. Because oh, because the movie. Oh. People didn't want to go. <laughs> but then they, they revamped it as the, the, the spookiest oh, best place, and everybody started oh, going. Um, so there is a Crystal Lake uh camp out there i don't know if it's still going but uh you can check it out but a lot of the um of the uh shows and the slasher movies were good imaginations where you were scared i never went and seen a slasher movie during the daytime in the movie theaters oh no i had to do it at night you know because when you come out at night you're like you know you be like, is something strange in the neighborhood? <laughs> Who are you going to call? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it was scary when watching, you know. But uh, Would that be kind of like the perfect date with you and your girl or not? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, I used to love scaring people. So, it, 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 you know, even if I go with my boys, I used to always scare them. Uh, uh, you felt like Michael Jackson and Thriller? Oh, <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm telling you, you know. Eating the popcorn. <laughs> I was just, ah, 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 you know. And then, you know. It's always good to take a girl to a movie theater when it's a scary movie because when they jump and you jump, you can be like, girl, damn, you just hit me. You hit me, man. Damn. I, was, I didn't get scared. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Throwing popcorn in the air. But uh, what other movie you, you know, put it like this. Let's go, let's go with the past two years. Past two years. Because to me, I haven't really seen a great horror movie. I forgot there's this one about like this weird cult where like so basically the mother was involved in a cult and she they did there was a demon that was possessed into the daughter i can't remember the moon name hmm. uh, i think it was not it wasn't called i think it was heredity so hmm. hereditary, hereditary that movie was scary oh that okay i didn't scary. see that one that i didn't one, see that, that one. one something else and then there was the other one where they go to like a cult that's now it's a lot now it's more like the horror is more aimed towards like cults Mm. You know, I I, mm. I actually I want them to bring back short movies. Short movies like the um uh, the Dark Room, um uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Mm. What what they had the horror? What was it? The Trinity, uh, Terror of Trinity, right? Something like that. You remember that one with the little uh, African doll that came alive? You, you I, never I, seen I, that I one? I think I know. I think I know what you never seen about. that. It's like called the, the, the Terror of of. I'm, I'm checking it out. It had the the doll had like a real like knife. Yeah. Real knife. Yeah. I think it was called Terror of Tragedy. I'm checking it out now to see if that's what it was. Um. Yep. The Terror. Of, mm. The Tragedy of Terror. I had it backwards. Tragedy yeah. Of terror. You know, the Lexus. <laughs> 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 but it was called the uh, Terror of uh, Terror. They had little short stories, yeah. and one of the stories was this the lady doll, by the, the African doll, doll. <laughs> and said, um, uh, and the African doll came alive and started crying. Yeah, I like those type of movies, especially in the Halloween times. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of those great things. You know, because of course you have the Charlie Brown pumpkin patch where everybody watches that oh, every yeah. single dun, year, dun, dun. right? So you want these movies where it only comes out towards Halloween, mm -hmm. like these little tiny stories, yeah. or you were like, okay, what story are they gonna do this time? Mm -hmm. I think that's what they need to bring back um, because, like I said, that one was a good one. Um, the dark room where they had this guy uh, like a, killed killed a, a hitman, and the hitman sent little army men. Oh! And during the whole day, he's trying to kill these army men, and these army men are trying to kill him in the penthouse. Huh. If, even though there was another army one too, but that was uh, the shadow, another story type of thing, so, like Twilight Zone. Yeah. So kind of uh, like uh, reboot Tales from the Crypt? Yeah, like was, Tales yeah. from the Crypt came out with little stories. But they, I, I think they should have something like that where it's just seasonal for Halloween. Yeah. That would be so cool mm. because it'd be little tiny stories where 10 minutes, 15 minute type of stories where it made an impact. Mm. You know, it could be scary. It can be like, you know, regular. 
uh, uh, because this one with the little dial running, oh, yeah, you know, I with the little knife and stabbing <laughs> the, the stuff. That one was kind of scary when mm -hmm. I watched it. Now when I watch it, it's just more, oh my God, get out, run, yeah. you know? Especially the, uh, the night when, when you can oh, hear yeah. it go into the skin. So yeah, I'm, I'm sounding like a psycho person right now. <laughs> but yeah, those type of movies I think they should bring back um, because those are the ones that I prefer, yeah. you know? Yeah, because the Twilight Zone was classic. Yeah, yeah. That was classic. You, you, you can go and watch the Twilight Zone anytime, mm -hmm. and you'll see stories where we're like, wow. They're not scary stories, but they just like, you know. They kind of make you think. Right. Like the best one I seen was the, uh, the guy playing the devil for his soul back. But he oh. didn't realize he was playing poker with the devil. devil? Oh. You know what I'm saying? And he thought he was all that because he used to win all the time. Mm -hmm. And all this time, you're playing the yeah. devil. So, and you know, and the one guy that loves books and loves to read, he hates people and he wishes that was people who was nowhere around. He comes out because there was a big bomb. He comes out, there's nobody in the world. Mm -hmm. So happy. He starts running to the library, falls, his glasses breaks, and now oh, he can't, yeah. now he can't Three. see. So, you oh, know, right. So there's, there's it's stories. Yeah. Those are not horror stories, yeah. but those are good. Yeah. But let, let's jump. Cause this year, I honestly can't think of anything. Think scary. of a two year in these two to three years where there was a good type of horror movie. Mm -hmm. Now there are some B movies that you never probably heard of that there were, you know, good movies. I don't know the name of one, but this lady buys a house and keeps seeing people talking to her and there's a phone keep ringing when she's picking up the phone, the person saying, I'm going to kill you and all this. What, and it was a, someone calling from the past. Would you consider Get Out a scary movie? Nah. <laughs> More of a suspense, maybe. More of a suspense? But I can't call it. Yeah, I can't see. If, if you're going to yeah. say. If you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if, there was another one. There if was you're going to talk about Get Out being a scary movie, you're going to have to go to C. I mean, you know, the one that yeah. they went into the house to get the blind man, to, yeah. to rob that blind man. Oh, yeah. Is it C, right? Uh, Something like that. That he was, a blind, he was a blind man, and they went in to rob his house, not knowing he was a psycho. Uh, there was another one, I think, what was it? What was it? Uh, what was it? Where they, this couple buys a house, and the house is, like, haunted and stuff like that. Which one? Gla the was, glass house? No. No? It was directed, like... What? Don't breathe. Don't oh, don't breathe. breathe. There we go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That was, he was psycho. And he was a blind man. He said, okay, I'm going to bring you to my um, world. Lights are off, doors are closed. And he was, Just trapped them in there, killing them all. That, you know, so that one's a suspense, but it was good. I think they did a uh, Don't Breathe too. Yeah. Right? They did a part two. Um, did you, do, you, uh, do you remember that one movie where, like, that one guy would have, like, a uh, a weird mask and he would abduct kid he would abduct kids and the kid basically would use the telephone and it was the other kids that he killed telling him how to Oh kill that was kinda of boring to me. Um oh snap. I, I know what you're talking yeah. about. It was on Netflix I think. It was kinda of boring because he was mostly talking and the guy was like he's about to kill but he had kids talking to him. Uh, to me Black phone or something like that? Black yeah, black phone. Yeah. Black phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that it was a kind of uh, boring to me. I was like, because eh. I was expecting more. Yeah, that was good. It was good, but yeah. I was expecting more. His you know, boy, his homeboy was the one that told him like, "Hey, you you gotta man up. You gotta do it because at the end of the day, if you don't do this, he's basically gonna kill you." Yeah. So all these movies that we're speaking about are probably movies you never heard of, um, or you probably did and never really seen, but you should. Uh, like, don't breathe is a good one. Both parts one and two were good. Uh, Glass House, that was a good one. Um, they they uh, went to the house. What's it called, Glass House? Uh, they went in. They brought the house, and the house was changing. Mm. It's like a jigsaw. It was, but the thing is, there were psycho spirits uh. in that house, and the only way you could see them, yeah, what? Glass House. Yeah, what is it called? Mm. The Glass House. The Glass House, and the only way you could see the spirits were were with glasses. These uh. these special glasses that you could see the spirits. So there's one part, the guy didn't have the glasses, and you see the guy getting dragged. But then when he put the glasses, he's seen the guy holding his psycho. Uh, if you squirmish towards uh, blood and all this, it's not the movie for you. 
that's how good this one is. It's a good movie, you know. W would you consider Cloverfield a, a horror movie? Nah. <laughs> but it happened in New York City. Yeah, you know, and it's so funny. <laughs> and it's so, in the beginning of Cloverfield, yeah, the it, start, it started a, a, a frenzy in the world because it was the news on it. Some people thought it was real. Oh, wow. <laughs> they actually thought it was real. That they, I remember the 11 o'clock news had to come out with a special um, announcement. Thing, announcement and say, the movie just came out. This is not real. real. Wow. Because people actually were calling and all this, and, and and then the guy from Deadpool was in the movie. <laughs> yeah, it was, but and then then they said uh, they also got um, sued because it was getting people uh, sick, dizzy, ah. and you know. So they, that's why in the beginning they say, like if, the Blair yeah, Witch Project. yeah, yeah, if you if you are uh, well, epilepsy, most yeah. sep, you know, pregnant, all blah blah blah, do not watch the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, caution. But I I don't know I don't. I don't consider that's like saying um that one alien movie uh seven or something like that that they come down to the world and they fighting them and it's like one oh, of the realistic war, war against war, war of the wars no 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 not that one not the um what was that tom cruise yeah no not that one uh it was these alien ones that had like their feet like this and you had to shoot them it was like uh I, I, Battle of Los Angeles? Yeah, 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 yeah that, one, that, one, that one, that one, that one. You know, that's <laughs> that's like saying that's a horror movie, you know. But overall, I, this year, like I said, I've been seeing horror movies where, put like this, there haven't been that many good ones. That I'm, I'm, I'm not, I got to say it, I got to say it. Say it. I watch Lifetime movies. That's how bad it was. Yes, Will, yes, I, I admit it. Lifetime I admit it. Movies. I admit it. There was not that many horror movies that I had to go to Lifetime. Yeah, but I had a, I wanted some kind of suspense. Suspense. You know, the the um Lifetime always reminds me of that Mark Wahlberg movie, uh, Crush, was it or? <laughs> you don't like Mark Wahlberg? Marky Mark. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying, but Mark Mark made a, a movie. Uh, that he was crushing on some girl. Even um, Alicia Milano was in the movie. Yeah, but the one good part, when he knocks on the dad's door, because he wants to get that girl. Once he, hit, he gets a girl, he always crushes on them so much that he winds up killing them. Oh. So he's trying to kill the father, the girl. He tried to kill, kill Alyssa Milano. Like all the but girls Alyssa that, everybody, Milano. everyone that was there, I just remember Alyssa. Uh, but, Alyssa there was one part that he looks in the in the, the peephole People. and he's like, come on, dad. You know I love your daughter. Just let me in. <laughs> let me in. Real psycho. Then. Oh, let me in. <laughs> Yo, I was like, damn. That's like that one Jim Carrey movie, The Cable Guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Cable Guy, another suspense type of uh, comedy. Because he was a psycho, oh, but it yeah. was comedy. <laughs> you know? But... I haven't seen some of them, so, I, you know, mm. there was a couple of good ones. But Lifetime uh, suspense movies are pretty much the same. You go with someone, then they try to kill you at the end, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Um, like Single White Female, you ever seen that one? That was a good one. She uh, got a roommate, you know, single white female yeah. looking for a roommate. This roommate tried to take her life over completely so oh, I dressing I, like I her I one, yeah. even yeah. had sex with her boyfriend because yeah. she looked like her <laughs> and she tried to kill her and everything it's crazy because that sounds real like, yeah that's, like, that's, that's why i was gonna yeah. say that's why i liked it, that movie because i was like i can see this happening yeah. i can see this happening and right now they got a, a documentary called the worst roommates where oh, the roommates man. try to kill them. you know these are real documentary um stuff on netflix that's so funny. there are movies like that i don't know so movies Suspense movies like this, I like. Mm. Like uh, Seven with um, Freeman. And who was the other guy? Uh, oh, man, the white guy. I even forgot his name. If you haven't seen it because it's a whole movie. And Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. Oh, the seven deadly sins. Yeah, that but it's called good. Seven. Yeah. It's called Seven. Good. Which good. Serial, What's in the box? What's in the box? Don't play with me. What's in the box? <laughs> 
He said, now you shouldn't go there. And you know, with Freeman's voice, you shouldn't go there, my son. Don't go there. It's not worth it. What's in the Like, he already pretty much knew something was in that box that was going to affect him. And you could imagine you opening the head and it's the head of your wife. You know what I'm saying? And the serial killer's just there laughing his butt off because all this time he wanted, you know, suicide by cop. Mm -hmm. And he knew you're never going to forget me. So the whole thing was pretty good there. But again, if you notice, we're going back. Yeah. Because there's really nothing in these times that consider a horror movie. Yes, they're trying to... Terrifier? Was that... That's the name of the movie? Terrifier. Okay, the killer clown. Oh, I gotta watch that. that. White, the clown that's all white and black. Oh yeah, okay. that. I gotta check that one they out. They also made this weird uh, Winnie the Pooh or Winnie the Fred. Pooh. Fred. 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 No, was it? Blood and Honey. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Blood and Honey. That, that sounds. Yeah. That sounds like a B movie though. I remember. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, one of the, the best. All one was Five Nights at Freddy's when they try to make that into a movie. Yeah, that well, they, they, well, that was, that was kind of bad. The, 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 the stuffed <laughs> animals wanted kids. And... Who, who, I think Nicolas Cage is in that movie, right? Mm-hmm. Where he doesn't say anything. Nicolas Cage was, I, I... The bees! The bees! All this time, he just wanted the kid, and it was kind of dumb. Uh, um, but again... You went to go see that movie, Charles? Hell no. <laughs> Heck no, I waited till that get on the cable. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, we 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 benching this or something. I'll watch it when I'm not, you know, nothing else. Be, you know, even after the lifetime, I watch it. <laughs> you know, it was that bad. It was that bad. Yeah, so, but all the good movies where it's suspense, it's killing, it's it's you know, it depends on like if you like sl- a slasher, mm-hmm. um, suspense or horror. Um, but there is really. Not that many movies that can say they had all three together, mm. such as Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Friday the 13th. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Exit. Well, the first one was okay, but it didn't have the suspense. The suspense? It just had the horror and the slash. Did you, did you ever watch uh, The Hills Have Eyes? A- another one that had horror and slashing. Yeah. I don't think it had suspense. You know. Were, were you a fan of uh, the Saw movies? When they came out, that one had yeah, a little. Yeah. That the Saw movie, the first one had a little suspense in it, and it was not too much slashing because you were doing your own cutting. Um, you know. Did, did you ever watch the Hostel movies? Basically, where you go out to another country and then yep. you basically have to basically torture you. Now that you say that, what about? Uh, I don't know if it's called the box, where they send you a box into to your house, and. You have that person is the one that you have to go kill. You know, and you have to start running around trying, trying to, to kill, kill that, that one person. Oh, and then the thing is, there's someone else with a box with trying, your name trying to kill you. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So I think they made two seasons of it, um, which it, it, it's kind of uh, uh, Cameron D. Yeah, it's yeah, it's called the box. Yeah, so it's it's not a horror. But it's more of a suspense, ah. um, because you know it's a game, mm-hmm. and if and it's normal people like me and you who just get a box and like we Wait. never killed before, oh, but it's yeah. killed or be killed. Yeah. So, but again, like you ha- Halloween, the beginning of it mm-hmm. was already suspenseful, where the eyes are walking and you don't see, you don't know who mm-hmm. who's killing, uh, and then you find out it was a brother all this time, yep. and they were slashing. So they did have all three into one. They have not been able to capture that. Nope. Recapture that. Ever since what was the last one? Friday? Um Nightmare? Was the last type of movie like that? Nightmare on Elm Street? Because I know Halloween no, Exorcist was first. Then it was Halloween, right? And then Jason, Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, they also had right? this, they also had paranormal activity. No, wait. But it didn't have that, that, but but paranormal paranormal activity it didn't was have, very suspenseful. Very suspenseful. Like, but it, it was know, not a like slasher. It wasn't a well. It wasn't a. That's what I'm saying. Something that had. Towards the end, it, 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 No, but it, it has. Well, it didn't really have suspense. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. But it, it did have slash. You know. No. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's, he, oh he's killing the. the he's he's killing the. Slasher. He's literally doing what the uh, the mafia was doing. Killing the dreams. Um, the dreams of kids. <laughs>
Predator, yeah, that, that, yeah, that yeah. Suspenseful. Alien, Alien was another one. You, the basic yeah, game. but Alien wasn't considered a horror movie. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It, it had this it moment. It was marketed as you don't hear anything in space. Well, the first one. The first one. The first one is a sci-fi movie. It's not really. Yeah. 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 But Halloween, they have not able to can do that. Matter of fact, they did. Sorry, I'm about Candyman. The first one had the suspense a little bit and the horror. Too not too much of the slashing, right? The original Candyman. With the, when he had the bees come out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ah. yeah. I don't think it had too much slashing in there, but it had the suspense and the horror. I feel like Scream. Oh, Scream was a good one. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Te yeah, I said Texas no, but I said it, it didn't have too much suspense because we already knew who was it. In Texas because Chainsaw Massacre, you didn't know it was it was the guy. Unless you, the only reason you, the first The one first one, it. but a lot of people like myself knew the story of it. Well, right, you know, yeah, so. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. Right, but I'm, I was looking for a movie that has the suspense. Hellraiser, oh, that's more. Eh? Yeah, Hellraiser was good. Uh, I think they screwed it up after the third. The, Oh, oh, Psycho. Psycho, yeah. You, that psycho. Was but, yeah and a slash well, I'm going yeah. back. Yeah. yeah so. See, but no one knew that was the mother and the son. You know, like Bates was playing both parts, you know? So there was the suspense. There goes the uh, mystery. But it's not a slash. Final slasher. Destination is very suspenseful. No. Final Destination that one scared a lot. had me going, looking around, talking about, yeah, now this could fall. It will hit yeah. this one. Yeah. Well, screen movies pretty much until they started, you know, revamping it and like, this is the person that killing. And then you thought the ones. Were, what, what about it Jason was Takes Manhattan? <laughs> well, it would have been a good. It would have been a good suspense if no, he would have gone the, to the Bronx. The, the funniest part is when he started boxing, the dude started boxing the Jason. <laughs> I was like, he just deuce, deuce. Yeah. <laughs> just boxing. But if you guys. <laughs> know of one that can have everything. I'm talking about the mystery, the suspense, the slashing, and the horror. You know what I'm saying? All of these put into one movie, it has not been really too much done. Like, it, mm. it'll hit three, but it won't hit, like, all, all four. four. You know? Like, to me, all four had to come from Halloween, from the first one. Because mm. it had the suspense. You didn't know who was killing, why they were killing, when they were going to kill. You know? It had the killing, had the scary and the horror, mm. especially the doo -doo 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 -doo, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. everything was in that first one. They have not been able to me. Maybe there is some that has all four, but I haven't seen now three. Yes, there's a lot of good threes, mm. like Scream and Scream. all that. They have these three because Scream is real good. Final Destination. Oh yeah, that the Final Destination scared me a lot. Yeah, I never drove behind a, a truck with the logs. With the logs, no, I haven't no, drove no. behind one of those again. <laughs> I, uh, I think uh, the third one was the one with the roller coaster. Yeah. But, you know, if you watch Final Destination and sounds stupid enough, watch The 1,000 Ways to Die or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, 1,000 Ways to Die. die. That, that oh, was no. kind of crazy how people died with the Final Type of Destination oh, yeah. thing, you know? But horror, horror movies, um, I don't know, real good ones that, you know, Kuko and stuff like that, that... Besides the Exorcist, the Exorcist wasn't all four at that, mm. you know, at that at, at all. It was more of a horror because they didn't have no slashing and stuff like that. But that was one movie that, if you speak about a horror movie, that has to be at least the top five in everybody's list. Mm -hmm. You know, especially you know my generation where we first seen it, where you didn't have the special effects like that yeah. for a movie that has special effects like that. We, I, I even seen it and I couldn't even turn off the lights. I was like, mm. my mom was like, what happened? And she's right there. I'm like, no, she's not stupid though. Close yeah, the, turn off the turn lights. Turn off the lights. The bill's going up. I know, right? It's like, you know, so. Would you say The Ring did or no? The Ring was more of a suspense for me. It was kind of cool because it, it fit in there with like, um, what was that movie where they call you and you die? Uh. There was a movie like that where they call you and you die and stuff. I think it was The Ring. Because you watched the movie. You watched the, the oh, was it The Ring? Yeah. It's, yeah. 
you no, no, but that was a movie. But this one is actually they call you. They I call I you, you die. Uh, the ring was if you watch the movie, you know. So stuff like that, yeah. That's like saying um, uh, Bloody Mary type of thing, you know. What about smiles? One missed call. One, one missed call. call was the one if you, mm. you know, you know, stuff like that. And then there was uh, friend, friend. That was another one that you had a call a friend and that it would be you. So uh, you had to pass it. It was a B movie. You had to pass that <laughs> message because. Yeah, there was oh, yeah. a couple of good that. movies, but suspense movies like Chains, something like that. It was something male, voicemail. I voicemail? think it was. Was it something like that? You remember when you were on Facebook and you get that? Yeah, send that's what I said. This to ten people. Or right. Yeah, you're gonna, you you yeah, had to send it. If yeah. not, it would be you next. <laughs> so things like that. I love type of movies like that. Like you know, Candyman. You can't say his name oh. and he pops up. Uh, but when they overdo it with the three and the fours. Oh, yeah. Like once, uh, I think once with uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, it just went to after the third one. It just. Got, it was like a Chucky type yeah, of thing. It, it was got, all it more hooked. funny. And then they had that Jason versus uh, Freddy. Yeah. Which was like. <laughs> you know, Jason was everywhere. Manhattan, he was yeah. in space. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jason. Yeah. Yes. You know. uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lep the leprechaun is space. I, I was going to say that. Idea. The I leprechaun think. first one. Heck of a movie, like especially when the guy took the you not getting my goal. Oh, you done the. You, you I already the, knew you done the dumbest thing. I got. I started laughing. Leprechaun in the hood. But he, hood. it was funny. The leprechaun in the hood. That was the funniest. In the hood. No, no, yeah, I'm talking about. He starts smoking the blunt. Yeah, he's like, yeah. yeah leprechaun and, and it's oh, so real sweet. because people looked at him like, yeah, what's up? Like they didn't wasn't even scared. They wasn't saying nothing to him. But He's like, I'm looking for me gold, me gold, me gold. Like that's all he cared for, <laughs> and all of it could have stopped if you'd have stopped being greedy and give him that gold. And then that one person gave him the gold, but stood with one, <laughs> like he wasn't gonna know. <laughs> he counting his gold. Oh yeah. And he went after everybody for that oh, one gold. That one piece of gold. It, it was crazy. Uh, you know, movies like that. Uh, but if you want to talk about. I don't know if the gremlins will fall into a horror, but that was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. That was kind of cool. It's funny that it's a Christmas movie, too. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, but horror, horror now is not the same as it before. Now, we need some good ones. Now, Smile, maybe, maybe it'll fall into that part because um, it was kind of funny. Like, how are you going to get rid of this, this entity that makes you smile and kills you? You know, and yeah. you have to make someone else pass it on yeah, to someone yeah. else. Oh. So the only way they were to get rid of it was to go to a cabinet by themselves, but then it turned out to be somebody yeah. popped up. So it's one of those things like everything is going to be okay. And then, boom, and then boom. something like happened. Final destination when they thought they beat it. And yep. Then, and then oh. it happens. So there, there are uh, movies where it goes into those genres like Candyman, like I said, uh, um, Ring, those are movies that they maybe can bring back. That was pretty good, you know. You, uh, it, it's shocking how like they made the one that with the call. They made the TV, and they never made one of the um, Ghost Me Killer. Ghost Me Killer. You ghost me, so now I'm killing everybody. Oh, was, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 That'd hey, be kind of kind of hey, weird. Write that down, Charles. Right, right. Write that down. Oh, oh what, what was it? what's the other one? Um, not the Ghost Me. Um. That'd be a really big. Uh, the, the one that what they call it when 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 you actually play somebody else and then you come to see that's not that person. That they have a whole damn show about it. A oh, series. Is it called oh, Ghost? Catfish? Catfish. Catfish. The Catfish Killer. The Catfish Killer. That would be something. The Ghost. The Ghost Me Killer is a lot more logical because I feel like it would be a huge effect in New York City in itself. Right. Like you ghost me, so I killed you. And then on top of that, you catch them. See, now we gave somebody. Yeah. See, we gave some writer something to think about. You know. You're gonna be, you're gonna see them. But the catfish, that. you would never catfish again. <laughs> You're going to see that person on the L train. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, something like that. Uh, matter of fact, there was one movie that I seen when I was young called Dress to Kill. Old movie. This lady killing all the, pe all, all the people. And it turned out to be it was a man psychiatrist dressed as a woman. Sounds like psycho. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. 
whack movie. <laughs> but it was for those days. It was okay, but it was too much talking. Mm. But to, I liked it because I was trying to find out who was, was the, killer. the killer. I figured it out. I was like, I think it's him. But he always straight, like a straight mm -hmm. person. But he was a straight person, but he was like a psycho. You know, like he yeah. thought his, his alter ego was a woman. Called Dress the Kill is very old. Um, uh, the Cabin in the Woods kind of struck a, a Oh, game. my God. The Cabin in the Woods, are, okay, that was, that was a good one. That was a, I, I'll say that. Um, you want to go to the woods? Yeah. And <laughs> if I would have had a cabin, I would have sold it. You know what I'm saying? But things like that. Uh, another old movie, When a Stranger Calls. That's a good movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, strangers calling the house. And I remember we were talking yeah. about it with the urban legend. Have you checked the kids yet? Blah, blah, blah. And then it turns out, but again, it gets boring at the end. Yeah. Uh, another one that I don't remember, but is by Michael Douglas. Um, when the, uh, a boy calls the mother, just the voice alone gives me the creeps. It's, Mommy, where are you? <laughs> and the kid's been dead for 10 years. Oh. Calls the house. I'm waiting, mommy. Where are you? Where are you? Just that alone. It, it, right now, you can yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, exactly. picture it. Uh, and I was a little nervous on that one. And that alone, I'm, I'm going to try to find it, but uh, I think it was Michael Keaton. Mm -hmm. I mean, Michael Keaton, um, Michael Douglas. Uh, and that alone, oh, I even spelled his name wrong. Auto correction always do is good. Uh, <laughs> that alone itself, that voice. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to spoil it for you, for you can just go check it out yourself once I find out what the, the name was. Uh, it's, it, it should be out, but it was an uh, old movie in the 80s or 90s. Uh, was it uh, not Wall Street, uh, Darkness, Soul Man? Damn, he, I didn't even realize he made so much movies. Like, we got to go way back. When Michael calls. The, oh, when damn. Michael calls. When Michael calls. Michael, oh. Michael Douglas. Michael. <laughs> but when Michael calls, check that movie out. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you because I really want you to check it out. But it was a 1972 movie. And I watched it when I was a teenager because my mom was watching it. And just that part alone was a little nerve-wracking. Like, who, where's this kid? Like, He's calling and calling, and he's, and the thing is, she was like, you're not my son. She was like, yes, I am, mommy. I'm still here with my red coat. He knew everything. It's like, is this kid's spirit there? Like, what, you have to think about what is going on, but it's so spooky, and the, the, the way the person plays it, 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 it was a good movie as, as, as itself. You know what I mean? Were, were you a fan of Insidious? About that little boy that like Ashley. I was not a I was not a big fan, but I, I liked it. I, I liked it. You know, like Will said, the first. I, I really didn't kick into the second, and I was not like you know, all into it. But uh, do you think it kills a horror franchise when they try to make a sequel? If they do it right. If they do it right. If they do it wrong and go left, yeah. Like outer space. Yeah, like like I said, Halloween. You are lucky you did a comeback because three. Oh yeah, and then they had drop you. Well, and then they had a Halloween H two O. Yeah, with Buster Rhymes in it. Yeah, yeah. That was that was okay. <laughs> it, it was good because it jumped into a different factor where you had this one lady that knows every Halloween somebody gonna kill you, mm -hmm. but you want to go with a gr group of other people, <laughs> you know, and try to put their life in danger, uh, even though you thought it was always done. Which it bring three other videos that tell you Michael Myers did not die, you know, but in, in all, I think to make it a best, best horror movie, it has to have at least three out of the four, yeah. uh, which is suspense, horror, slashing, and um, what was the other fourth one? Uh, suspense, horror, slashing, and the type of uh, whodunit type of thing, which... Were, were you big into like zombie movies or no? Well, zombie movies were more like a horror, eh, disgusting, you know, stuff like that. But it was there. Mm. You know, the best one, of course, is Night of the Zombies. Night of the Living Dead? Night of the Living Dead, yeah, that they on the supermarket. Oh, yeah, they're just. You know, the original, yeah. the original. So, um, 
and then you know the rest kicked in where similar uh, what was the one brains brains and walking around that was the only thing that we used to say the zombie used to walk around brains and then they had a uh, world war z with uh oh world war, war z, z was crazy yeah but we could continue on and going and going but we don't have that no, much time but good we got to go but Ooh. spooky Ooh. october is going to continue next week we will go on through uh more uh movies uh but i want to talk about more uh, superstitions oh yeah of that's Halloween. A, yep. So we're going to talk about that next week. We'll see you next week. Hello, bug.